Today I want to show you guys a version of Eggs Benedict that I've come up with. Instead of using an English muffin, I like to use a potato rosti. Instead of using ham, I like to use bacon. And I also add in avocado because it's just delicious. So let's get to it. So we're going to lay out our bacon on a sheet tray and pop it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 or 20 minutes until it's nice and crispy. Next we're going to use the fine side of a cheese grater to grate a peeled potato. Now when you get to the end, just throw the last bit out because it's not worth cutting your fingers over. Next we're going to add a tablespoon of melted butter, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of pepper. And then we're going to mix everything together. Once everything's mixed together, I like to squeeze off a little bit of the excess moisture and then transfer it to a well-oiled saute pan on medium to high heat. Now at this point, it's really important to resist your urge to touch the potatoes. Just leave them alone and let them cook and everything is going to be just fine. Now once we see a nice golden brown color around the outer edge, that's when you want to use your spatula to gently coax the rosti from the pan. Once it's fully released from the pan, go ahead and give it a flip. After you've flipped it, I like to add a couple knocks of butter, sear the bottom, and then throw it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Next we'll put a small and a large pot of water on the stove and bring them both to a low simmer. In the larger pot, add a pinch of salt and a dash of white wine vinegar. This will help keep the eggs from sticking when we poach them. To make the hollandaise sauce, we're going to separate one egg yolk and then add a teaspoon of lemon juice. If you roll your lemon on the cutting board before you juice it, you'll get a lot more out of it. And then when you squeeze the lemon, if you put your hand underneath it, you can catch the seeds and keep them from going into your sauce. Next we're going to add about two teaspoons of water and a pinch of salt and transfer that over to our double boiler. At this point, our objective is to incorporate air into the yolk mixture while slowly cooking it. The best way to do this is to constantly whisk the yolks so hard that you want to skip arm day at the gym tomorrow. You'll know you're done when the whisk leaves a trail in the yolk mixture like this. At this point, I like to transfer it to a damp towel in the shape of a ring to hold the bottom of the bowl. And then we're going to slowly add butter, a little bit at a time, while vigorously whisking. That's the most important part, is that you never stop whisking. It's always a constant, vigorous whisking while slowly adding the butter. I use about 4 tablespoons of butter per egg yolk. Once all the butter is incorporated, you should have a nice, thick and rich hollandaise sauce. I like to keep it right on top of the stove, that way it stays warm and it's less likely to break. To poach the eggs, we're going to swirl the water around a little bit and then crack the eggs just above the barely simmering water. We'll leave them there for about 4 minutes, and while that's going on, let's get our plate set up. First we're going to put down the rosti, and then the bacon, then we're going to slice up an avocado. You'll probably find it easier to use a smaller knife to cut the avocado. I'm just used to working in restaurants where every second counts and switching your knife takes a second. Now we'll use a spoon to scoop out the avocado, and I like to put it on the cutting board and just press it and it'll fan itself out. Then we'll season it with salt and pepper and transfer it to our dish. So all that's left to do is plate up the eggs and add a little bit of hollandaise sauce, and I like to finish it with a bit of fresh chopped chives. And that's it guys, that is my Eggs Benedict. I hope you guys like this, and if you have any questions about anything, feel free to hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, I'm always here to help. And I'll see you next time.